Hi guys, my friend AJ has asked me to have a chat to you about two tips that I can give you if you are working with Aboriginal families and of course their children. The first thing is make sure that you yourself and your co-educators are all really familiar with what your symbols and signage mean. So it's really important that everybody has taken the time to understand those basic requirements so that you're, you're, you're on the same page with your understanding. And that, that would be great respectful practice. The other thing that I would suggest is that you consult with those families and think about the opportunities that you provide for them to make them feel as safe culturally safe as possible. So perhaps a whole forum of the whole community might not be something that would be um, of comfort in that environment for them. So maybe think about how you could offer alternative types of communication, whether Zoom or meeting um, separately with you. Have you asked that family whether they would like somebody from their their family or their their community to come along with them to support them so really think about how flexible you can be to better meet the needs of your families and and that way you're you're maintaining a partnership of respect yeah, thank you great Beautiful. Let me just now stop recording.